welcome back to my channel. For today, we are going to be organizing and cleaning all of the drawers in my beauty room. I'm gonna take you guys through here. We're actually doing some renos. So I wanna show you guys the plans for the room that has been transformed about 10 million times. I'm excited about this though, and I feel like it'll finally be done. I would love you guys' input. This is gonna be really like vlog style. Angie stuck in the house. I know you guys have been wanting to see the day, a day in the life. Every day is different. So welcome to this day. We are organizing, we are cleaning. If you guys love this type of thing, which I have a feeling you do, then just keep watching. I just got a bundle of parcels. There is nothing that makes me happier than parcels. Does, okay, when you guys are receiving parcels right now, if you are, do you like disinfect them when they get to the door? Real question, real question. I do. <laughs> I'm a little bit of a germaphobe. So I just placed a massive order at I think it's called the skin store. I will link everything down below for you guys, but I really wanted a facial steamer. And it was sold out at Sephora, which if you saw my last video, you heard the story, but I ended up getting this facial steamer and the shipping was like so freaking fast. And then I got a bunch of other stuff. I got like this hair care kit. So I'm gonna try and find a spot for everything. I kind of want to have a nice spot for the, the face stuff, like all my creams and my skincare. I have a bunch of skincare over there and I have like a full drawer for all of my, or it's not ordinary stuff, it's the ordinary is the name of the brand. This is like Botox in a bottle. And then I have nail stuff. I have like a nail cutter, nail tips, and that all goes down here. So I have a plan. Also, I need to share my thoughts on this room with you guys. First, I wanna show you my broken window. I don't know what happened. Ugh, can you see that? So it's a double pan window, so don't worry, it's not like a bird is gonna fly in here, but isn't that like the saddest thing in the world? Whenever I saw it, I kind of squealed a little bit, so we need to get just this little square window replaced. All right, can we talk plans for this room? So this neon sign lights up. It's usually pink whenever it's on. The plugs and everything are in that drawer, which I want to organize, but I feel like it's too dark in here. I really do. I love this room, but I feel like it's way too much black. It's just too much matte black everywhere. So this is what I'm gonna do. This is gonna stay black, all of this. This wall where the donuts, dumbbells, and dreams is, is going to be a, it's gonna be like a shiplap, like a white shiplap. And then this black trim will stay black. This will all be white shiplap. And then it's gonna continue to that random I don't know even, that's not white, that's like beigey yellow, which when you're filming, you don't want yellow. I hate anything yellow. It, I just feel like it comes up yellow on the camera. So this is gonna be white shiplap and then this is gonna be white shiplap. Thin, 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 just simple. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen this wall. Probably not. <laughs> I don't usually film this way. Like the lights in this room, like everything comes, this is like all the behind the scenes. So all the lights come from behind me, but I love this wall. So the same friend, that's gonna help us out, he's gonna come over. He did this and like, he's so fast. I literally was gonna try and DIY this and Audrey's like, Angie, stop it. So that basically like that L, that, that, and then back there. So that'll all be white. And then behind the, the donuts, dumbbells and dreams, which I feel like, what do you guys think? When you, I personally feel like when I film a video in this room, it's too dark. I feel like you guys don't care. And it hurts my heart. And then I think the foxes are somewhere down there. <laughs> if you guys have been following on my stories, we have a family of foxes that live down there. I'll try and grab like a screen grab of our cameras, like our outside cameras, and I'll share them playing or like from my stories or whatever. Okay, let's start organizing. P.S. While we're organizing, can we just talk about this for a second? These are by Madame Gaston. They're like, the couture of mini Mickey ears. They're all individually placed Swarovski crystals. These are birthday fabulous ears and they're coming with me when we go for my birthday. I hope we go. <laughs> first, coffee. So the first thing that I jumped into is all of my nail stuff. I had accumulated a ton of this, especially being at home. I have been doing my own nails and I'm loving it, but I've been accumulating a lot of stuff. So what I found to be the easiest was just get everything out of the drawers, which is what I ended up doing with all of the drawers, which you could see from the thumbnail. So I got all of the gel polishes out, all of the regular polishes out, 
um, primers, all of that, and I organized them in these Made Smart bins. So I started categorizing everything and putting all of the gel polishes together so that that was in one section. So I have my acrylic tips in the bottom corner. You can see all my nail files, the brushes, regular nail polish and pop coats and anti-chip stuff, and then all the gel polishes, the primers, some glitter, and then the glitter polishes and color changing ones I've been loving. So that went in perfectly into the drawer and just so much better and so well organized. I loved it, amazing. So that was literally like the first big category that I wanted to conquer. And then I wanted to organize all of the files, clippers. I have these adorable stickers that I got off of Amazon. I hope they still have them. If they do, I'll try and link as much as I can down below for you guys. I love these. That's how I do my nails when I go to Disney. I just add little stickers. And I have a section for my UV lamp as well as a travel little UV lamp in case my nails chip while I'm traveling. So then I started conquering all of the makeup, face stuff, eyeshadows, and I just decided to put it all out on the floor. So I kept the bins empty with the Made Smart bins in them and I figured out where I wanted things to go and I started categorizing stuff by, you know, bronzer and face stuff, all the eyeshadow palettes. I had accumulated so many palettes. So I'm actually, some of these are not even used. I'm actually gonna do some giveaways with some. And you guys know I'm doing a giveaway with one, which you guys are gonna see in a couple seconds. But the highlighters that I wanted to you know, clear out, I have a lot of stuff that was just old and had dried up and I didn't even realize. So this is the palette that I'm giving away. I talked about it in my last video. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it. But this has never been used. I'm actually obsessed with it. I have one of my own as well. I just have two and I figured one of you lucky souls deserve to have one of these. So not only is the blues amazing, but the beige colors are absolutely beautiful. So I'm obsessed with this palette. I love it. And I will be selecting one winner. And all you have to do is just be the most engaged on this video and my most recent videos, as well as on my Instagram. So make sure that you're following on both. And I will announce the winner in the next video. So then from there, I started organizing all of my palettes. So I noticed I had just an accumulation of a ton of Morphe palettes, Jaclyn Hill, James Charles, regular Morphe palettes, and then I've got a bunch of Jeffree Star stuff and just a random amount of palettes. So what I did is I started grabbing the ones that I truly, truly love and the ones that were seasonal and the ones that I wasn't using at all. And then the ones that I hadn't touched so I can put them in a bin. I literally now have a bin in this beauty room just for giveaways for you guys of stuff I've never touched that is still amazing. Anything that wasn't so amazing, I just tossed it or donated it, but for you guys and keeping the good stuff. And then some of the things I kept for my best friend and I'm gonna send it over to her house as well. So I organized things by primers in one, you can see that the concealers, under eye concealers, um, pore fillers and primers, any moisturizers, this is all of my highlighters, um, under eye and just regular powders and then bronzing powders. So these are all of the concealers. So I have, these are pretty much full coverage concealers and then it goes to a lighter like BB cream type of foundation. And then all of my under eye concealers as well as my eyeshadow primers and just the more intense stuff. So these are just all of the favorites. I just wanted you guys to see what I kept and what I actually love. Um, I love that Wet n Wild coconut primer. I, I'm obsessed with it. And then these are just all of my under eye creams that I usually start with. The Physician's Formula one, the I think it's a cucumber, it's so awesome. And then these are my under eye heavy duty. I've had these forever, but I love them. And these are just my under eye concealers. And then any illuminating, yeah, illuminating primers or just hydrating primers. So these are more of the hydrating primers as well as the pore fillers. And I tried to keep them in one section. And then any under eye or regular like baking powder, that's what I put there. And then I have all of my favorite bronzers, which I still ended up purging a couple of these. That Morphe bronzer, the new one is amazing. And then these are all my highlighters. So one thing I had done wrong is I had all of my milk stuff, this milk brand, I had it all in one drawer and I was never using it. So I decided to immerse it amongst the other highlighters as well as my highlighter palettes. I love that. Um, I think it's called Brain Freeze, the Jeffree Star one, it's amazing. And then I have a couple liquid highlighters, just some that I've never used. So I figured this would be a good way to get everything out and see it. Now, this is the game plan for this room. I sketched this up. I wanna do white shiplap on the wall. So we 
I was going to DIY this. We went ahead and hired our friend to do it. Um, Chris did an amazing job. So this was, well, this video has been filmed over the past couple of weeks, just so you know, so you really get an in-depth view of not only a day in the life, but a couple of weeks in the life. And this project, he, he rocked it out. It took two different Saturdays for him to get it done, but he did such a good job and it just really brought the room, I feel a little bit more light and airy. So I ended up getting this little planter basket for a pretty big um, banana leaf plant. And then I wanted to add a ton of greenery. So the concept for the room was really black, white, and then natural foliage, like banana leaf tropical. So I got all of this stuff from Michael's. I will link it all down below for you guys. I am so happy with everything I got and they have a sale going on right now. And I'm pretty sure it's still happening where there's over 40% off on this stuff. So I'll link all these things for you guys, but I love it. So I got a bunch of little plants to put on the shelves, which I will show you. And I also got those hanging moss plants and then these little babies, which are actually really heavy. These are like $11 Canadian, so probably even less in the States. Amazing. And it just added so much character to the room. And I feel like it was the thing that it was missing was not only the white and the brightness of the shiplap, but also just the greenery. Um, and I can't keep, keep a plant alive to save my life. Listen, know your skills. My skill set is not plants. I do not have a green thumb at all. So they needed to be fake, but I wanted them to look as real as possible. So I also had this cute Ray Dunn little vase from HomeSense back in the days when it used to be open. Does anybody else miss home goods, HomeSense, Winners, Marshalls, TJ Maxx more than anything in the entire world? You guys, I think that's the first place I'm going. As soon as the world returns to normalcy, I am going straight to a home goods. I, I need some Ray Dunn in my life. So I thought that vase was really cute. And I'm going to show you guys how I actually filled these little hanging planters. I'm going to order more for outside. I think they're the cutest little things and you can actually unhook the chain if you want it to just be a ornament on a, like on a table, like a little vase. So I had these succulents also from Michael's, but they're from, oh my gosh, they're from whenever I redid our, our patio outside our porch, our, our screened in porch. So if you want me to link that down below and check that out, I can do that as well, but how I had designed those. And I got all these little hanging, I guess like draped over type of succulents. So cute. And they went really well with these, I, I want to call it, they look like dino eggs, which very Jurassic Park. If you don't know, I love Jurassic Park as well as Disney, but they just gave off that like dinosaur Jurassic Park vibe. So I loved those as well. So this is how I hung these little moss suckers. So I had just some simple little gold hooks. I put them into the ceiling. <laughs> you don't know this about me. I put a lot of holes in walls and holes in ceilings with uh, just throughout my life. I've always been like that. And I just DIY everything. So then I hung these from inside of that, where that ship lap is, the ceiling goes up really, really high. So all of the chains and hooks were hidden. And this one, I wanted it to hang a little bit lower. I didn't want them to all hang at the same height. So I found a rope and <laughs> I hung a little bit lower and it just worked out so well. I am more than happy with it. So my, the plan came to fruition. It's always nice when a plan works out. So if you guys like the white, please let me know down below. If you don't, please don't tell me because I can't change it. <laughs> but I hope you guys like it. Um, I just feel like it brightens up the room so much more. And that's going to be the backdrop of what's behind me when I'm doing my podcast, which yes, I'm going to upload new podcast videos and what you see in any videos and tutorials that I'm doing in the room that I'm sitting in right now. So then I continued to organize everything. Once the ship lap was done, I went through, I organized all of the rest of the makeup drawers, including I have a full eyelash drawer. So this is how I organize my eyelashes in these little cases. I think these cases are like $3 They're like two for some, I, they're super cheap. Um, I will link them for you guys and they come in all these different colors. And then I had all of the extra eyelash boxes with the eyelashes still in them. So fresh boxes as well as the individual little wispies. And then I wanted to organize the glue and all of that as well. So it had its own space. And then I also ordered the what are, Lashify. If you guys tried the Lashify stuff, I don't know how much if I like it. I'm not saying to try it. It's, it's a lot. So then I, I love this little glitter drawer. So these are all like gl little glitter pots from ColourPop and individual glitters, like the glitter I put in my hair whenever I go to Disney, um, eyeshadow glitter, all of that. So I had to wash my brushes and this is how I do it. I use the little puck from Beauty Blender and I just keep the water going underneath of that little corrugated thing and it rinses all of the brushes off. So I just then let them dry on a towel. And I wanted to share how I organize my brushes. This Cosmo Cube is so cute and I filled it with some floral little beads as well as rhinestones, so adorable. And then I went through and I cleaned all of the other brush holders. So I actually got these from Michaels as well and they're just 
little beakers and I thought they were really cute. Um, just clean. So I put all my favorite brushes together. I also started dusting like crazy. Now I just want to note the sun was beaming into this room. So it looks a lot worse than it is. You know, that feeling whenever you can just see all the streaks on your counter when the sun is beaming in, that's what was happening here, but it allowed me to clean it that much better. So I also had this little bin that I got at a video game shop. Whenever Andre was shopping for video games, I found this, it says dare to believe with Tinkerbell on it. So cute. I started dusting with the Swiffer. It was working way better than a cloth just to get everything off. And then I started organizing all of my lip glosses. So I've been accumulating quite a few lip glosses and um, tinted lipsticks and all of that. So I started organizing just the ones that I like and I got rid of the ones that I really, really wasn't using or just the colors that didn't work. And I ended up putting them more in an accessible spot, which I think looked better. So this is the little makeup area that's out. So the storage that's out. And then the other thing I had to organize was this shelf. So I have these shelves from Ikea. I've had them for a while in this room. I just place them in different ways. So I kind of created a little reading nook and I put one of those dino eggs in there and I just organized all my favorite books by color. It just makes it look cleaner. So I did um, red and orange in one spot and then yellow and then purple and blue. And then I vacuumed once everything was done. One last thing I wanted to do was hang this wooden piece just to put my dreams and my goals and what I'm working on on there and there's like the little clips on there i got this at a home sense home goods great find love it i screwed it into the wall more holes in the wall but it worked out really well i'm so happy with this room i feel like it's finally done don't quote me on that because i've said that about a million times to you guys but now you can see all the different angles of this room there's a lot of hidden parts that you don't see when you're watching me on youtube because the lights and the the wires and the cameras and all the behind the scenes so i wanted to show you what you know behind me looks like i always have a fan going i love that fan i was too cheap to buy a dyson i love that fan um i think it was like 70 dollars instead of 700 for a dyson fan so i'll link that for you guys as well but let me know if you like this better i would love your feedback i would love to share all the things with you i will show you how i turn on the neon sign the neon sign is from neon poodle i love them and i just keep all of the wires and everything in one of the bottom drawers so it's all neat and tidy um another thing we did was all the plugs that were behind these shelves we brought them forward with a power bar so i have two power bars on either sides of the shelves so it's just so much more clean and organized and I also have my desk in here, which I actually work at and I film at and I keep all my stuff in there, all my camera gear and right next to it. And I want to share this. This little black tray is actually from Ikea and I love it. And I store all of my switches and remotes in there. I actually have like a cute little camera mug that I use to store all that, but it works really well just for tripods, microphones, stuff like that. And a couple of you guys asked if I had one of these. Yes, I have one of these. It actually arrived really quickly. I don't know why YouTubers say it takes forever. It, it was amazing. and listen, I'm hopeful that we get the next plaque. I feel like it's because of you guys, but I, I always have it on display. I absolutely love that plaque. So you can also see how I organize some of the creams on the little tray and then some miniature beakers and just different sizes for cotton swabs and little cotton pads. And the other thing I want to share was just how I decorated the shelves. So I have some candy and some apothecary jars. These acrylic organizers are just from Amazon. They're from a brand called Allegory. I also wanted to display the this Mickey and Minnie. Andre got these for me for Christmas. They're a limited edition. I don't know if they're still available. They're actually for the Disney house, but obviously I'm going to put them on display until then. These little bookends I also got at the video game store. I definitely now feel like the room is 10 times more organized. I feel like the stuff that needs to be out and easy access like hand mirrors and that has easy access. I feel like the greenery definitely pops and adds a certain amount of life to the room instead of it just being dark. And all of my lip glosses and palettes that I reach for are out and anything else is in the drawers, which I can easily rotate out and I'll probably do another organize with me in a couple months. Um, I have a lot of Disney touches in the room, some little Disney mugs, Disney candles, little books, books that I love that inspire me that I want to look at and see every day just as a reminder. And having the bookshelf I think was really cool because then I can actually have a section that I reach for. I have a little nebulizer from Sage. I don't know what to put in that stuff basket, but I needed it. I love it. It's very it's perfect Ray Dunn matte black moment. And I have the skincare that I use daily out on a little tray. So I just want to take you guys through how I organize the drawers and what's in them. So I've got all my face stuff to the left, all of my lip masks, face masks and that. I have eyeshadow palettes, mascara, eyeliner, highlighter palettes, any tools, any switches are all on the left. And then on the right, I've got the nail stuff on the bottom. And then as I move up, it's all of my face stuff. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you did make sure to enter the giveaway and be following on Instagram, do not forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye dudes.